What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Future Night, Eric here back with another video and today is a sponsored video by none other than Solopop, unplug yourself. Um, thank you so 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 much for sponsoring this video and sending along the product that we are going to be opening today and that product is, as I'm sure you saw in the background, Legendary Duelist's Synchro Storm. Now, this set, um, definitely, definitely a side set uh, to consider. Not a lot of meta-defining, meta-warping cards in here. Uh, mainly, this is a very, very big throwback to back in the day when Synchros were top dog. Uh, a lot of Synchro support, as the name suggests. Legendary Duelist, you know, paying homage to the Duelists of the past who used Synchros. Key things about the set to note definitely is the chase card, which I'm hoping to pull today. Definitely is um, the Baroness de Fleur or B Baroness de Fleur. It's pronounced, I believe it's German, it's pronounced uh, in quite a strange way, but it's an insane card. Uh, it will be up on the screen right now for you to give it a bit of a read so you can understand why it's such an insane card. And you should be able to see the current value of that card on screen and it is insane it is definitely holding the set up uh, that as well as the ghost rare that actually can be pulled out of the set very surprising to to be able to get a ghost rare out of a, uh, a side set you know and not a set specifically made for ghosts such as ghost from the past even though we do know there is a ghost from the past version 2.0 coming next year so it's all quite strange it's a very wacky set the set synchro storm um for newer duelists, I actually would not re recommend picking this up. I would recommend picking this up if you're on that chase for that Baroness, you're on that chase as a collector for the Ghost Rare, or if you have the decks that are currently, um, you know, in existence that this set supports. So I believe it's Speed Droids, I believe it's Lurilisk, um, and there's a bunch of other synchro orientated decks that this set supports. So definitely a set I would say that's not beginner friendly. Um, however, if you are an old school player and have access to some of the older synchro cards and are looking to get back into the game mayhaps, this is definitely the set for you. And like I said, collectors, meta players, so it's definitely a set for, I would say, established players in the community. Right, um, without going on for too long and making this intro too long, uh, we can crack right into it. I do want to say, for this first box, um, we are going to be taking it a bit slow. We'll be reading some of the more noticeable cards to give you a bit of an idea of how this supports the existing archetypes and so on and so forth. Um, another box will be opened on the channel. Uh, but that will come at a later video and more details will be given on that later and there is a giveaway on this video for one of your own legendary duelist synchro storms uh, so stick around to find out how to enter that i will probably be mentioning how to enter that giveaway uh, somewhere in the middle of the video so you definitely have to stick around and watch you know something to to find out how to enter the giveaway all right, ladies and gentlemen, and then let's just get right into it. All right, and here we are with the first box. Um, yeah, not much else to say. I think we just crack right into it. I do have my red dragon shield sleeves here. Some older sleeves, you can see there's a little bit of dirt there, uh, but they get the job done. Dragon shield, very, very good sleeves. Would highly recommend picking up some sleeves whenever you're buying packs or building a deck. And um, yeah, we'll be using those to, ha um, to sleeve most of our hollows, and especially uh, if we pull, you know, the Baron or a Ghost Rare. So this is right off the top. Um, let's see what we've got. So like I said, definitely reprinting and supporting uh, older synchro archetypes speed droid being one of them speed droid is actually an insane deck it can set up multiple negates in the forms of the crystal and the um clear wings and i'm sure as you saw on the cover art which we can take a look at in the next pack there is a new clear wing or crystal wing i believe and it's pretty interesting and it does fit into the archetype quite well we've got a reprint of one of the draco um monsters one of the bigger ones another speed droid card Speed Droid Takatombolk, this card was very, very expensive. I believe it only had two printings and it was reaching somewhere in the 30-ish dollar range. 
So great reprints is a common. And then we've got high speed droid Kite Drake. This was, I believe, originally in a Battle of Legends. So that's the first pack. Uh, like I said, as you can see there, there is a new Crystal Wing. It is the Ghost Rare as well as the Ultra Rare for this set. Another card to look out for is definitely Bird Call, uh, used in a, a variety of Tri Brigade as well as pure Lurless builds. Uh, very, very good card. I believe it's a um, Foolish Burial as well as a Rotor for the Archetype, which is very, very impressive. Speaking of Lurless, Creepens Zion. Hey, and then we've got a new card. This is Fleurette de Fleur. So this looks like <laughs> that's actually very, very cool. Um, I am going to give this a read. So I didn't realize that the Baron uh, was sort of part of an archetype. I believe it, it's, I thought it was an um, independent card, but it looks like it is part of an archetype. So let's give this one a bit of a read. Activate this card by targeting one level two or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but negate its effects. Also equip it with this card. It makes sense. It is an equip card. When this card equipped by this effect leaves the field, destroy that monster. Understandable. The equipped monster gains 700 attack. If this card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, you can equip this card to one synchro monster you control. You can only use this effect of Fleurette de Fleur once per turn. You can only activate one once per turn. That is quite an interesting card. I presume it fits in with the synchro strategy, you know, being able to bounce off of the things you summon, summoning back stuff so you can synchro summon and then reattaching it to the synchro that you make. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, the art for um, the uh, Baroness is actually beautiful as well. So it's nice to see she's got a couple of support cards, I guess. This is also quite a beautiful card. I believe it is also a new card and it kind of is reminiscent of Dogmatica with the art. But let's give this one a read. If another card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one library at last from your deck or graveyard to your hand at the start of the damage step. If a synchro monster battles a monster, you can destroy your opponent's battling monster. So, um, like a armor trap card, I can't pronounce the beginning half, but a very old trap card. If this card in your spell and trap card zone would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one monster you control instead. You can only use each effect of Pendant or Revolution once per turn. So this library at last card is definitely something to look out for. I actually do not know what that card is, uh, so I guess we'll find out. I am going to quickly sleeve our Defleur card. Very, very cool. Next pack. If we manage to pull her out of... I mean, I'm only opening two boxes of the set. Primarily because there isn't a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is terrible. Look how... Look at the borders. That is terrible. Um, <laughs> primarily because there's actually not a lot in the set that I'm after as a player. So I'm looking to give a little bit more back to the community and people who may need cards from the set, you know, to actually play their decks. Uh, so I'll be opening one box now and the second box will be in the second video and I'm giving a box each away in, give, in both of those videos. So there will be two boxes of Synchro Storm given away, giving you a chance at the Ghost Rare, the um, Baron, as well as cards that you may need. Uh, we've got Speed Droid, Double Yo-Yo, High Speed, Chanbra. This is terrible. Are you seeing this? It looks like all the cards in this pack were just... Okay, except that last one, which just cuts terribly. <laughs> Quality control for the TCG is uh, definitely subpar, I would say. You know, when you look at the OCG cards, it's quite beautiful. Uh, they, but you know, aside from all their many different rarities, but their quality control is really, really high. Uh, we've got Speed Droid, uh, Sorcerer de Fleur. So this is the the archetype. I actually do recognize this card. It originally only had one printing, and I believe it was like a thirty forty dollar card. So it's awesome to get a reprint of that. Speed Droid, Marble Machine, and Speed Droid uh, Duplicate. So what I um, understand from the pack where we pulled our super, the Spoil card will be in the second, um, the second last card. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the um, rare to the front, just so that we can hopefully get our hollow at the end. Unknown synchron library at last. Okay, yeah. So this card is when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target two face up monsters on the field. Shuffle those targets into the deck. Not terrible. Um, if it didn't target, this might actually have seen some play. But um, 
interesting card nonetheless i believe this is the other side of the wall whereas the previous card we were looking at was you know on the other side obviously attacking in uh, and then we got speed droid attack tom borg Alrighty, we got Speed Roy Terror Top, Speed Lift. Oh, I forgot to bring my Rare Forward. This is a new Lowerless card, definitely, I believe, a main deck monster for them. Uh, this, this strategy is actually insane. It can make a Zeus with, I believe, six to eight materials if you do your combo right, going second, which is absolutely insane. Uh, we got Speed Lift, Stardust Warrior, very cool looking card. And we've got our second Hollow. This is Lowerless Bird Sanctuary, continuous spell card. Let's give it a read. You can target two Winged Beast XYZ monsters you control. Attach one of those monsters to the other as material. Transfer its materials to that monster. If you control an XYZ monster with three or more materials, you can draw one card. You can only use each effect once per turn. That's actually really, really good. So like I said, this contributes to the strategy where you just stand up your xyz monsters and then inevitably you're going to plop a zeus over them and make them super overpowered um awesome let's sleeve up this one Zip. cool next pack it's weird um opening a side set that isn't consistent of just rares and collector's rares uh, again quality control look how terrible that is um it's quite interesting opening a side set like this uh, i ha haven't really opened one like this before but it is very very refreshing we've got the pendant of revolution cool pen noble knight joan speed one marble machine and we've got rush warrior So, um, like I said in my last video, which was a deck profile of the deck that I've currently been using, you know, being Old Lich, um, Old Lich Stun, quite a, <laughs> quite a very unfair deck. Uh, the videos that were supposed to come after that were supposed to be a, um, oh, okay, just give me one second, we're gonna have to read her, Sage to Fleur. You can target one monster you control and one card on the field. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, destroy them. Um, target one monster you control and one card on the field. Okay, so you're destroying one of your own monsters and one card, you know, usually your opponent controls. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one other monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, then add one level one plant monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can only use each effect of Sage of Fleur once per turn. So this is adding to, I guess, a plant type strategy. That's very, very interesting. Um, and it's our first ultra. I believe that there should be three to four ultras in a box. Um, there have been some boxes open that I've seen where they've only pulled three, and I've seen some boxes where they've pulled four as well as a ghost. So it's it's all very, very wacky. So like I was saying, after that deck profile, there was supposed to be a Cyber Strike structure deck opening and review. But instead, what I've done is I've actually gotten a topping deck profile of cyber docs which was made almost entirely from the structure decks so what i'm hoping to do is i'm going to post that deck profile um, by henry up on the channel and attach a giveaway for the cyber strike structure decks to that um to that video so keep an eye out for that and then as well as a burst of destiny opening i did say that that was to come as well it is still on the way i just haven't received my um booster boxes yet from our sponsor solar pop which of course i cannot complain about they have been super super understanding um and they have been keeping me updated and hopefully we can get that burst of destiny opening to you soon uh take a tomborg unknown synchron speed Roy car turbo and then we've got loyalist promenade thrush let's give this one a read Gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. This is very um, reminiscent of all of their monsters. Once per turn, you can attach one material from this card. Target one spell trap card your opponent controls. Shuffle into the deck. Non-destruction removal. Very good. At the start of the damage step, if another monster you control battles, you can detach any number of materials from this card. That monster you control gains 300 attack for each material detached until the end of this turn. So definitely playing into the strategy. The strategy is very strange. They, they sort of buff themselves according to XYZ material. Materials. They gain effects off of the XYZ materials. The XYZ materials give them protection and effects. It's a very interesting deck to say the least. And Bird Call, like I said, the Ultra, probably the third best Ultra in the set, is absolutely insane. 
um, we'll bring our rear forward we've got Lurlisk Phantom Feathers Necrofleur Tornado Dragon as a common very interesting I'm guessing it's because it's a wind and it's generic we've got Speedroid Red Eye Dice and we've got Speedroid Horse Stilts so a good reprinting chunk of all the Speedroid stuff falling in with that crystal clear wing um, strategy we have got Lolisk Colbat Sparrow Quillbolt's Hedgehog I forgot to bring my ref forward I did just technically spoil there <laughs> uh, this is an insane reprint they're definitely a Zeus maker uh, for rank 1 decks so it's nice to see this as a reprint I believe this card was quite expensive before it's reprint almost a $10 card so it's nice to see that reprinted especially for those who actually want to play Lurlisk and not just want to make a Zeus alrighty then next pack Let's bring the rear forward, Synchro Dilemma, uh, Speed Recovery, Stardust, the Salt Warrior, Sorcery de Fleur, and Tornado Dragon. I'll take Tornado Dragons every day of the week. Um, you know, it's such a staple card in, you know, even current formats as well as Yu-Gi-Oh's history. It's really nice to see it reprinted in such an accessible way. We've got our Pennant of Revolution again. Synchron Explorer, Speed or Terror Top, Stardust Warrior, and Liberty at Last. Say we almost just about halfway, so I suppose I can let you all know about how to enter the giveaway to, you know, win yourself a Synchro Storm booster box. Uh, to enter the giveaway, um, actually, you know what? You're gonna have to stick around for just a little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, we got our Lurla Speed Droid, our True Draco Phoenix, Unknown Synchron, and our Lurla Celestine. Oh, Cel Celest. Wagtail. <laughs> we have Wagtail. <laughs> uh, so, if this card is special summoned, you can add one Lurla Spell Trap card from your deck to your hand. Crack. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Lurla XYZ monster. Ooh, focus. 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 I think it's. Is it focused? on camera sorry this is a new phone so if there are technical difficulties i apologize um still working out the kinks uh, i'm gonna just have to read it from there if this card is in your graveyard you can target one low list xyz once you control attach this card to it as a material so again it's just working along the line of being able to search a card and being able to stack it with xyz materials all right so to enter the giveaway you have to in the comments let me know what your favorite synchro monster of all time is whether you're a newer player and you're just getting into the game and you found a synchro monster that you know the art has caught your eye or the ability has caught your eye and you've built a deck around it whether you're a veteran player who has played for long enough to know the best synchro monsters in the game um you know, whether you're a hulky Firex maniac turboing out as many synchros as you can, or you're just playing pure synchros, getting out your crystal wing, your clear wing that the speed droid archetype allows. Let me know what your favorite synchro monster is, and by letting me know, you have entered the giveaway and a winner will be chosen at random for, from all of those who um, entered successfully. So, yeah, that is how you enter the giveaway. Let me know your favorite synchro monster We've got a lowerless lowerless full pen rush warrior speed droid so you'll see as a side set the card list isn't that large uh you start to see a lot of repeats except with regards to the foil cards so again the quality control is terrible uh speed droid duplicate i do believe that is a new speed droid card but because i'm not too well aware of the uh, strategy that speed droid presents i'm not going to read it just because i have no idea what it would mean for the art type stardust warrior and sorcerer Fleur. all right stardust warrior let's bring our rear forward Fleur Synchron, Stardust Assault, Lurlilis, quality control is terrible. And we've got our, uh, well, actually not a lot of supers in this set. Speedroid Ultra Hand. Again, not too sure about the Speedroid uh, strategy, so I'm not going to give it too much of a read. But it is a pretty cool looking card, actually. I like the, the art and how they're reminiscent of, you know, educational children's toys. 
I would say, is what I get. You know, dice and um, eight balls and, uh, I mean, little sorcerers and stuff like that. It looks very, very cool. This is an insane looking card. It does not look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card in the slightest. Uh, it looks like something out of Bioshock. Very, very cool. Uh, Speed Droid, the Draco, Tornado Dragon, and High Speed Shanbara. This is a very good synchro card, by the way. Having access to these along with the Tornado Dragon is um is pleasant. It's 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 good to be able to grab you know cards that have seen play and then might see play uh, without having to break the bank. We've got our. <laughs> I thought it was her. It's not. It's her baby sister, clearly. Um, this is Chevalier de Fleur. Not a generic synchro. Once per turn during your turn when your opponent activates a spell trap card, quick effect to negate activation if you destroy a card. I do not know if this is a new card. It looks new to me, but that is very, very cool. We've got Z-Zone, Speed Droid, Luralisk, and then we've got the Sorcerer. Again, quality control is terrible. What the hell? Again, if I have been reading cards and bringing them up to the camera and they haven't been focusing, I apologize. Uh, my old phone broke and this is a new phone, slash new phone. It's a second-hand phone, but it's pretty much on par with what my phone was, spec-wise. Even the camera is the same, but I just have to work out the kinks on, you know, where to position it. It's the zoom I can, you know, get away with and what not. We got Speed Droid Wheel, reminiscent of a uh, casino. <laughs> Black or white? What are we, uh, not black or white. Black or red? What are we betting on? X Y Z synchro. <laughs> black or white? <laughs> Luralisk. Let's bring our rear forward. Fleur synchron. Luralisk. Luralisk. Speed droid. And we've got necro synchron. So that is our third ultra, I believe. Um, one, two, three. That is our third ultra. So we shouldn't expect another one, but hopefully we do. Uh, that is quite a crazy looking card. I mean, I believe it is representing this one, but obviously this is some kind of beet or fruit or something, uh, or a flower. A flower. That, that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> and it started to wither away. Um, very interesting card. Let's actually give it a read. This card's name comes becomes Fleur Synchron while on the field in the graveyard. Cool. You can only use each of the following effects of Necrosynchron once per turn. You can target one other face of monster control, increase its level by two until the end of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro, mater synchro material for a wind monster, you can special summon one level one power monster from your deck. So it's weird that uh, th these new cards seem to mesh. Well, I see the ultra. My bad. <laughs> uh, they seem to mesh. The, the different archetypes, the different synchro archetypes together, so like Speed Droid, this Fleur archetype, um, Luralisk, it's quite, quite an interesting concept. Again, this is terrible. I cannot believe this. At least our uh, uh, foils, for the most part, have uh, been okay, but that is terrible, terrible quality control. It feels like the first card of every pack just has its, has its borders absolutely ruined. Uh, that one's not too bad. Okay, cool. Uh, let's bring our rear forward. Pendant of Revolution, Luralisk, Call Bolt, Speed Lift, Luralisk, Bird Call. Okay, not the Baron, but definitely the second or I believe the third best Ultra in the set. This card is insane. Take one Luralisk monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one Luralisk monster with a different name from your hand. You can only activate one Luralisk Bird Call per turn. Insane card. It helps the strategy so, so much. And this is usually what you're going to be searching off of your Spell and Trap Searcher, which we actually pulled earlier. Well, since we um, have pulled, I would say, all the Ultras, what I'm going to do is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm going to do is open up two more packs normally. Then I'm going to do a super pack where we take the rare as well as the second last card and we put them all aside and then we can see what we can get from that. So these two packs we can just do normally synchro, synchro on liberty at last, tornado dragon. So we got a five five ultra box, but we got probably the worst ultra i didn't even know this card existed because when i was looking at the, the set list i organized it by price so i know what the chase card is this card was nowhere near the top 
<laughs> I think the tornado dragon is actually worth more than this. But um, that's pretty cool. Five ultras in one box. If it's six, then maybe you know Konami's repaid us for the terrible quality control on some of those cards. Um, let's give it a look, I guess. Uh, Lolisk, Quell, Speed. And speed droid. All right, perfect. Okay, so now for this next run, we're going to do a super pack. It's kind of weird because um, the rare and the uh, foil spot are here at the back, so it would be one, two down. And these are just the commons. So we're gonna go open it up. Oh, starting to uh, get a little bit of the. <laughs> papers on my side let's actually move the box there so that's the rare so rare possible foil commons we have got ourselves a rare possible foil commons keep the camera rolling rolling uh, rare possible foil commons oh. and then we've got rare possible foils commons all right and with regards to the next video that will be you know revisiting the set it is going to be a pack battle between myself and Frisbee Moonsong, who I'm sure you have seen on the channel once before, or even twice before. Uh, I did a profile from him for Altergeist for when he played in the, uh, I believe it was the Remote Bull Invitational for Europe. Um, I took his, de took his deck profile and I posted it on the channel. And he is one of the other sponsored content creators for Yu-Gi-Oh in South Africa. So as I would love to collaborate with him as much as possible, you know, being uh, a content creator myself. And I decided this is definitely a nice set to do that. So the next video will be a pack battle between him and myself. Uh, we're going to be opening up a box each of Synchro Storm and whoever pulls the most value will win that pack battle. Also, there will be a giveaway attached to that video. I haven't quite decided what the giveaway um, details are, how to enter the giveaway, but it will be on that video. I'm probably going to record it right after this one um, just to keep the, the flow going, keep the energy going. And I ended up making all of those a super pack just because I saw the length that this video is going. So let's have a look at the rares. Uh, we got our Lurlisk. High Speed Droid, Speed Droid, Totem Bird, Lower Lisk, Lower Lisk, Penance, Speed Droid, Synchron, and our Totem Bird. Now, if there is going to be a Ghost Ray or another Ultra, it will be in the slot. And I didn't expect that. Clear Wing, Synchro Dragon. So just a reprint of the original Clear Wing, Synchron Explorer, Zero, Zero Zone, another Clear Wing, Synchro, Stardust, Liberty at Last, and our Speed Droid, Den Den, Daiku Duke. Again, to enter the giveaway, you're going to have to watch the video. I'm not reiterating or repeating myself. Um, you have to re-watch the video to find out how to enter the giveaway. And again, the, a random person who has entered the giveaway successfully will win themselves a box of Synchro Storm. Just quickly to go over the pools. Uh, I know because a lot of you aren't here for the giveaway and just here for the pools. Let's have a look at our super rare. So we got ourselves a bird sanctuary, bird to fleur, beautiful card, lower lisk, promenade thrush, speed droid ultra hound, speed droid wheel, two clear wing synchro dragons in that last super pack, two necro synchrons, one bird call, probably the best pool today, one celestian wagtail, and one say sarge to fleur. Very, very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to this opening slash review. Uh, the pack battle against Frisbee Moonsong Robert will be a lot quicker. We won't be reading cards unless we pull something absolutely crazy uh, or a new ultra rare. So it will be a lot quicker than this video. And I definitely hope that you tune into that one to also have a chance at entering that giveaway and winning that box of Synchro Storm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Future Night signing out. Yeah.